Hello, I'm Officer Dina Locke of the Lima Police Department. I'm here today to provide some tips on what to do when you're stopped in your vehicle by a police officer. There are many reasons an officer may stop you while driving. They include to warn you about a potentially dangerous situation. You may have committed a traffic violation. The vehicle you're operating may have an equipment or a license violation. Your vehicle may match the description of one involved in a criminal act. Regardless of the reason, remember, we are here to protect the public, including you. At the time of the stop, the officer does not necessarily know who is in the car or what the situation is. Every day, wanted individuals are arrested in traffic stops and guns and other weapons are found in vehicles. Every vehicle stop may be a law-abiding citizen or a person wanted on warrants or for having just committed a crime. Each year, a significant portion of officers killed in the line of duty are killed as a result of traffic stops. Remember, we have an obligation also to our families to come home safely at the end of each day. If you're stopped, remain calm. If the stop occurs at night, turn on your dome light, remain in your car, roll down your window, and keep your hands on the steering wheel until the officer asks you to remove them. Avoid sudden movements. The officer will ask you for your license, registration, and proof of insurance. If they are out of reach, tell the officer before reaching for them. The officer may give you a verbal or written warning or may issue a citation. If you disagree with the citation, please do not argue at the scene. You will have the opportunity to contest the charge in court. Do not re-enter the traffic way until the officer clears you to do so. We care about the safety of you and your passengers. Be sure you and your occupants buckle up. Keep infants in a rear-facing safety seat. Children need to be in a child seat until four years old and 40 pounds. Children from four to eight need to be in a booster seat until they are 57 inches tall. Those children over eight must be seat belted after outgrowing the booster. Never have a child under age 12 in a forward position seat that is airbag equipped. Now, here's a short message from the Ohio Department of Public Safety. So, you've taken all the classes. You've studied all the books and been provided high quality instruction. You've taken all the tests. Your parents have bought you a new car. Well, new for you. Think you've got it all under control now? Think you know all you need to know about driving? Well, think again. Just sit back and relax as we tell you what to do when you're pulled over. A lot of you have a lot of questions about being pulled over. Questions like, how will the officer let me know I should stop? Good question. An officer will signal you with flashing lights and or siren. What do I do when I'm being stopped? Another good question. Immediately drive to a position parallel to and as close as possible to the nearest edge or curb of the highway lawful for parking and clear of any intersection. If the officer wants you to move to a different location, he or she will ask you to move. Stay in your car. Don't get out and approach the officer. The officer will come to you. He or she may approach your vehicle from either side, depending on which side is safer. Follow the officer's directions. The officer will probably ask you to roll down your window or may direct you to another location. Have your paperwork within reach. All current registration, insurance, and driver's license information should be easily accessible. Paperwork must be current. You may cause yourself more problems if your paperwork isn't available and current. Everything current here. Wait here and I'll be with you. What will the officer be doing while I'm waiting? Another good question. After pulling to the side of the roadway behind you, the officer will notify dispatch personnel of the traffic stop, 
the location of the stop and request information on your vehicle. The officer will approach your vehicle while looking for signs of anything that might indicate a threat to the officer or citizen safety. Criminals are located and arrested during traffic stops every day. Officers don't know who you are or what you may do. The officer will discuss the violation with you and ask for your insurance, registration, and driver's license. The officer will take the information back to the patrol car to check the status of your driver's license for any outstanding warrants. The officer will then write out the proper citation or warning. The officer will explain the citation and return your paperwork to you. The officer may ask you to sign the citation. Your signature only indicates that you received the citation, not that you agree with it. However, you must appear in court if it is required or pay the ticket by the court date. If you just ignore the ticket, an arrest warrant will be issued and your license suspended. When the officer is finished with the traffic stop, he or she will tell you that you may go. You should carefully pull back into traffic. What if I didn't do it? Or I don't like the way the officer treated me? Well, you got this one right. The time to argue about your guilt or innocence is in court. Instructions on how to plead guilty or not guilty are printed on the back of your citation. If you feel you were treated badly by an officer, ask for the officer's badge number and name, or note the officer's name on his or her name tag. Then contact the police headquarters or substation. Each complaint will be investigated. You may be asked to provide a written statement of your allegations. Law enforcement officers are on the road to reduce traffic crash fatalities and injuries by enforcing our laws. No one wants to be stopped for a traffic violation, but if you are, you need to know what to do. Knowing the process will make things easier for everyone. 